feeling like the thing for one Count up my ones, lacing up my favorite ones One of a kind, one of one, the only one Got one shot and one chance to take it once my mama on the forehead before I get the cold red Cause I was born bred to go in Toast ready, swing by Fote Beef patty, cornbread In the concrete jungle with my homies All get focused, all rage your toasts But nickname Mr. Kanan do the most is I was living down back Welcome everyone to episode 6 of In The Zone Wrestling, the fallout from ground zero, a lot of new champions crowned that night, and a lot of still champions as one of them walking out down to the ring right now to start off our show, our world heavyweight champion Duncan Riley. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the ITZW World Heavyweight Champion, the World Breaker, Duncan Riley. Duncan Riley walked into Ground Zero, World Heavyweight Champion, and walked out after he beat Nino Planta in an incredible matchup main event. Planta brought the fight. He brought more of a fight than anybody thought he would. But Duncan Riley, his power was just too much. And he overcame Nino Plata. But now Duncan is looking for his next challenger with sky high around the corner. You gotta, you gotta think, what is Duncan thinking right now? And I'm sure he's gonna tell us all right here, right now. Duncan Riley is at 236 days as world heavyweight champion. And I honestly don't see him slowing down anytime soon. Duncan has been a dominant champion in every way, shape, and form. And we are about to find out what he has to say to everybody here tonight. something any of you any one of you I demand I dare I implore you to try and do something any of you inbred hicks you see I'm standing here and I look out and all I can see is a sea of angry faces looking back at me I look out and I can see a sea of anger everywhere I look I see a sea of people who believed in Planta to the point where they think they thought that he could beat me, to the point where they thought that he could take the World Heavyweight Championship from me. <laughs> Planta tried. He did. And in the same breath, Planta failed. He tried and he failed. There's nothing more to put. There's nothing more to say, there's nothing more to discuss. So my offer still stands. I dare one of you fat need nobodies to step into this ring and do something about me still being the champion, huh? Maybe one of you in the arena won't do it. Maybe, maybe someone in the back will come and they will save one of you, huh? Maybe someone in the back has a bone to pick with me. Maybe someone in the back wants what I have. Hmm? If there is anyone in the back that has the balls to step to me right now after what I did to Planter, do it. I dare you, do it now. Wow, that is huge. Duncan Riley has basically laid out the challenge for anyone to come out here right now and share their piece of why they deserve the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh boy. I know this man thinks he deserves a big opportunity like this. Oh yeah, this one's going to be good. Marty Morton. This man was involved in the Universal Championship main event of night one at ground zero. He came up just a little bit short. He was not pinned. But he had the watch as Nathan Daves took the pin. And he was about to break it up. But he was too late. That three count was called. Marty thinks that he 
was the one that was walking into that match as the victor. And I very much think he was if Nathan didn't have the ring prowess he did. But now Marty out here about to be face to face with Duncan. Duncan, I guess everyone else is scared. I guess everyone else doesn't have the balls to come out here and challenge the one-eyed dog. But see, Duncan, I'm different. You say my confidence might be stupidity, but it's not. See, what my confidence is, it's higher than it can ever be. You see, that fatal four-way, I didn't get pinned, but I didn't leave that match without a scratch. But what I did, what I already proclaimed once, was that I was the most dominant man to grace that ring on ground zero night one. I was the most dominant man to step to Tommy War, Kenny Montana, and Nathan Dave's ground zero night one, Duncan. Yes, I did say you had my number from SBW to WXPW now to ITZW. We can now meet once again face to face. See, Duncan, the one thing that I have that none of the other men on this roster have, and I don't care how they feel about it. One thing that I have is not only the balls, not only the confidence, not only the manpower to tell you to your face that you <laughs> are not the guy, you are not that man. You think that you are this dominant force. But no matter if I haven't beaten you before, Duncan, that's the thing. I know I can beat you. I know how close I've come in the past. All I need is that one time. You said you adapted to Planta. Can you adapt to me? Can you adapt to a man that can match your power, your strength, your speed, your agility, everything in that ring? Can you match me? Is the question. Gonna see. Because I now right here, Marty Morton, the man of steel, challenged the world breaker for your world heavyweight championship. Marty Morton, the personification of strength itself, a walking mass of destruction. But Still dumber than a bag of rocks. <laughs> what are you doing, Marty? I mean, really, what are you doing here? You want what I have? You want the World Heavyweight Championship? <laughs> you said it yourself, Marty. I have your number. Every time that we have faced in the past, I have beat you. So what makes you think that this time is going to be any different, huh? You saw what I did to Planter, right? You saw how I changed through the match, how I adapted to his style? Surely, right? You think you can beat me? <laughs> Marty, I, I, got, I got to say, I find your confidence humorous. I do, I find it funny, Marty, but, but maybe, maybe your confidence is actually stupidity. You want the fight? You want a shot? Hmm? But it seems, Marty, that no one else does. It seems to me, Marty, that everyone else is scared. So if you want the shot, if you want the match, if you want the opportunity, you got it. I ask myself the same question. Honestly, what am I doing? Why did I come out here? You know, in my mind, I was thinking after what happened to Planta, that could very well be me if I stepped out here. If I lace up my boots right now, if I go out there and face you, that could very well be the fate that I face. <laughs> but then I thought to myself, why not? Why not step to Duncan Marley? 
Why not show him that no matter if he has had my number in the past, he cannot take out Marty Morton. He cannot drop Marty Morton. He cannot keep Marty Morton door. So you have what I want. You have what everyone wants. Duncan, you're at the top of the mountain, at the top of Mount Everest, where everyone is either at that midway point or at the very bottom trying to climb. But they keep sliding their way back down. But you see, what I have is a very, very strong grip on every single rock that I grab. And the more I grab those rocks, I make my way to you, Duncan. I come out here right now. As the man of steel, a man who has never beaten you in his entire wrestling career to challenge you for the coveted World Heavyweight Championship. You hold so dear. You said you take my confidence as stupidity. See, that may be the, the case. I guess I'm on some kind of psychedelic drug if I think I can just walk out here and, and challenge you. But see, that one drug that I have is that confidence. It's clouding my brain, clouding my mind consistently, telling me every single day, Duncan, that I can keep going. No matter if I lost that ground zero, no matter if I didn't walk away with the Universal Championship, no matter if Nathan Daves is standing with the one thing that could have been mine by the end of that night. Just know I proclaimed this before that I was the most dominant man to step in that ring throughout any of those matches on Ground Zero Night One. And Duncan, sky high is right around the corner. You know what that means? Why don't we do it again? I already challenged Marty Morton, the man of steel, Duncan Riley, the world breaker for the ITZW. World Heavyweight Championship. Well, things seem to be settled around here. ITZW World Heavyweight Championship on the line at Sky High. Duncan Riley will defend against Marty Morty. Who is the most dominant man? We are going to find out. Cause this is not enough. And I will wait for them to cut me up. So give me all you got. The following contest is a Sky High Ladder Match Qualifier. Introducing first, Human Galaxy. The Human Galaxy, many believe that he was screwed out of that Zero Gravity Championship at Ground Zero after fighting B-Kid. He had basically a three on one at Ground Zero. And I'm sure Human Galaxy wants to reclaim that spot and I believe we are going to see that here tonight. Human Galaxy is definitely way more motivated than he ever was. They're failing to claim the Zero Gravity Championship. I mean, this is another big opportunity to be in the sky high match. He gets the briefcase and he really, realistically, he could cash in on V-Kid if he wanted to or he could cash in on a bigger prize in the World Championships. The Human Galaxy with a big opportunity here tonight. And we have no idea who his opponent is. Well, we're about to find out though. It's, it's not good for someone like this. You don't know who your opponent is, you can't prepare for it. The Human Galaxy is one man that I think could very well be the underdog of this entire qualifying match lineup. Well, we're about to find out who Human Galaxy's opponent is here tonight. Oh God, wait. I think I know that music. And introducing his opponent, The Rock Superstar, Al Walker. This is huge. Al Walker has signed within the zone wrestling and he is in a sky high match qualifier. And this is very interesting seeing that he's fighting Human Galaxy and this one needs to have history. Al Walker has history with Planta as well, who is Human Galaxy's tag team partner. I'm sure that Planta is in the back and he's not too happy about this. 
the human galaxy was taken out by Al Walker back in BTV a few months ago. And now these two are going to run it back. It might be an advantage for human galaxy to possibly get some revenge here tonight and maybe even spoil Al Walker's debut and his chance to qualify for the Sky High match. But Al Walker is very confident and egotistical. And he will pull out anything he needs to to come out with the win. I'm sure he will do no different against Human Galaxy tonight. This one is going to be good. Who is going to qualify first for the Sky High match? Is it going to be Al Walker or Human Galaxy? This is also a chance for Human Galaxy to get some revenge on V-Kid in the form of Al Walker. V-Kid and Al Walker, both members of Overdose. Well, here we go. We are off. Bell rings, Human Galaxy, and Al Walker. Oh, and Al Walker. Al has made it very clear in the past that he makes Human Galaxy and Planter are both joke. Oh, and wait a minute. Human Galaxy over the top rope. Caught Al Walker with an elbow and a beautiful Tiger Faint kick. Takes down Al Walker. Human Galaxy is just so quick. Up to the top, Meteora. Human Galaxy, this is what exactly what we saw against V Kid. Just a flurry of offense in the very beginning, shooting star into the cover and a two count already in this match. Al Walker has got to be careful with somebody like Human Galaxy. He can hit you with the flurry of moves in just a few seconds. We saw that just now as big drop kick from off the ropes from Human Galaxy. And another shooting star press into the cover. Again, Al Walker in detriment, but again a kick out at two. I mean, Galaxy, oh, look at him playing cocky, playing cocky and telling Al to get up, but Al with a strike right to the midsection and ends a Gurry kick. Al Walker starting to get into it. Now they get his combination, big back fist, and a clothesline takes down Human Galaxy. Now he's going to try to take this a little bit slower now. Big, my God, what a shining wizard right there from Al Walker. And Al picks him up on his shoulders. What a driver from Al Walker. What a big move right there. But Human Galaxy's back to his feet. Rolls up Al. Crucifix pin. One count. Two count. No. Al gets the shoulder up again at two. Oh, and there's a kick in the midsection by Human Galaxy. This is Human Galaxy. He's taking out all his frustrations. And he's doing it to Al. Big punch right there. And now rolls through. Tornado DDT from off the ropes. Human Galaxy just incredible in this matchup so far. As now he tosses Al into the ropes. Drop down. Oh, sweeps the leg. Foot stomp. It has been all Human Galaxy in this match. Mostly Al Walker has got to find something to get back into this match. Oh, what a punch. He was calling up Al, but Al was able to catch him. And now a punch to the face and a DDT from off the apron. My God. That might be the opening that Al needed. Is now Al spinning powerbomb spikes Human Galaxy. Looking for the cover here. No, Human Galaxy gets the shoulder up at two. That was definitely the opening that Al Walker needed. And it ends a Gurry right to the side of the head. Al Walker now kicked to the gut. Oh, no. He's looking for a pedigree. Oh, and now Al Walker just taunting Human Galaxy. And now he's flipping off the fans. Al Walker now. Uh oh, he's got a cross face. He's got a cross face locked in, but Human Galaxy's feet were already on the ropes. It's good ring awareness from Human Galaxy, keeping his feet on the ropes after that pedigree. And now Al just, oh my God, just punching away, trying to wear down Human Galaxy. Al is taking over this match by storm. Now just kicking away at the face. Human Galaxy just disrespecting him. And now again mounting him. Just punching away. Look at these elbows and forearms. Human Galaxy has got to find some way to get back into this match. It was all him in the beginning. But Al Walker has slowly just taken over. Now just being disrespectful and kicking away the face. 
of Human Galaxy and now tossing him into the corner. Ow now. What is this? Off the ropes. Standing Shiranu into the cover. Looking for a three count right there. It was a beautiful move, but Human Galaxy again gets the shoulder up at two and a half. And Al starting to think what he has to do. But he's still going to be himself, and he's still going to be that cocky SOB. As Al gets up to the top rope. Frog splash. Nobody home. Human Galaxy moved out the way. That was the opening that Human Galaxy needed. He might be going for the shooting star press. Oh, but Al gets up to his feet. I think he saw it coming. Human Galaxy caught the punch. And now Hurricane Rana into the cover. Human Galaxy, he might steal it here. Two count. Oh, that was way too close. Al Walker almost lost the match right there. Human Galaxy almost pulling it out. Big shot right there. Knee strike into a poison Rana. Al now getting called up. Human Galaxy, he's looking to end it here. Big strike to the back. And now an uppercut to the back of the head. Human Galaxy now, he's got the leg. Oh, and just slams it down. You don't usually see Human Galaxy doing technical moves, but might be working on the legs to prevent Al from doing any harmful move. Looking for a moonsault, but Al moved out the way. And Al now picks him up, looking for yet another driver. Got him, spikes him right in the corner. Al Walker, again, in control of this match. Human Galaxy had a little spark of life. It's Al Walker going up top. Human Galaxy slowly getting back to his feet. Oh, but Al caught the punch. Al now off the rope. What a forearm shot from off the top rope from Al Walker. Al now picking Human Galaxy back up to his feet. Looking for yet another pedigree, it looks like. Boom, got it. Al Walker's down. He's slowly getting back up to his feet. I don't know if he got all of it that he wanted. Now Al might be looking to end it here. Look at this combination. Northern Lights suplex. Al now, kick to the back. Oh, wait a minute. Ripcord, knee strike. And that might be lights out for Human Galaxy in this match. Oh no, Al Walker now pulls Human Galaxy into the golden driver. That is lights out for Human Galaxy. And Al Walker, oh, he's not done. Another Ripcord knee strike. Al Walker is going to fall into the cover. Two and a three. Al Walker has qualified for the sky high match. Here's your winner in qualifying for the men's sky high match. The Rock Superstar, Al Walker. Human Galaxy put up a fight tonight, but Al Walker with a huge debut win, and he qualifies for the Sky High match. But we still have two matches, for at least on the men's side of the Sky High match. Two other qualifiers, Robin Heese and Jose Carter. And we got Jay Montrez taking on Shine Knights as well. We'll see you then. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is a women's sky high qualifying match. Introducing first, Lily Knight. 
Lily Knight has got a big opportunity in front of her in the first of two qualifying matches for the women's side here tonight. We still have four more to qualify our next show. We're going to find out two of them tonight. Lily and Jennifer are about to go at it to the side. Who is going to be the first one to qualify? We saw Al qualify for the men's a few moments ago. We're going to have to find out who's going to be the first for the women's side. Lily Knight could be a very underdog pick if she is able to win this match right now. Well, here we go. Lily Knight, Jennifer Warren, Sky High Women's Qualifying Match. The bell rings and we're off. It's both women in the center of the ring. We'll lock up here. Jennifer and Lily trying to jog for position. Oh, what a strike from Lily, though. Lily looks like she's going to make the first move. Tosses Jennifer into the corner. Big back elbow into an enziguri. Jennifer drops down. Look at Lily being confident. Oh, but gets caught with a chop and a spinning back fist and another chop. Look at these chops from Jennifer Warren and an overhand chop. So now Lily gets sent into the ropes, dropped down by Jennifer. And now arm drag, cartwheel, big knee right to the head of Lily Knight. Lily slowly getting back to her feet, though, as Jennifer tosses Lily into the ropes, ducks under. Lily was able to avoid it, but not that one. Got hit with a clothesline. Jennifer now tosses Lily into the corner. Off the ropes, big, oh, what a kick right there from Jennifer Warren. Jennifer now, just kick to the midsection of Lily and a kick to the back of the head, my God. Jennifer now picks up Lily to her feet, looking for a kick to the gut. Lily, though, with an elbow right to the leg. And now look at these chops, look at these strikes, and an ends of Gurry from Lily Knight. It's been a very back and forth matchup so far. And Lily now tosses Jennifer into the corner. Uh oh, what is she looking for here? She's got into an inverted DDT, beautiful tornado inverted DDT from Lily Knight. Lily now is slamming Jennifer's back of the head into the mat. And now a foot stomp. Lily now with a kick to the head. Is Lily going to go up top? Looking for a beautiful leg drop right there. Lily might need to go for the cover, and she does. This might be it right here. One count, two count, but no Jennifer gets the shoulder up at two. Got to do more than that to put away Jennifer. Lily is going to do nothing short of that. She tosses Jennifer into the corner yet again on the other side of the ring though this time. Oh, no. Lily's got her up. Uh, might be looking for a superplex of some sort. Oh, God, wait. Looking for... Oh, I think she was looking for a Brady Buster, but Jennifer luckily slipped out of that and just tossing Lily right into the turnbuckle head first in a big boot. And I kicked to the gut. Like, oh my God, a kick to the back of the head. That might have been the thing that, Jen that might have been the opening that Jennifer needed to get back into this match. Tosses Lily into the ropes, rolls through, and now a kick right to the midsection. Turns Lily over. Oh, wait a minute. Arm bar is locked in. Oh, she is wrenching on the arm. Lily might tap out right here. That might be it for Lily. Oh, Lily with a big elbow right to the face of Jennifer. Lily slowly getting back up to her feet. Lily now tosses Jennifer into the corner. 
Big body press into the corner. Off the ropes. Oh, what a knee strike. Lily now. And a big moonsault from off the corner. What a move right there from Lily. Looking for the count. Three count, but no. Jennifer again gets the shoulder up at two and a half. Lily showing her speed and agility in this match. Look at the power, though. And into an arid crash neck breaker. Jennifer going to wisely roll to the corner, trying to avoid any pinfall attempt. But Lily looks like she's ready. Oh, now the confidence beaming from Lily Knight here. She's going to run in. Oh, what a forearm shot sends Jennifer right back into the corner. I think she was just regaining herself as she got back up. Got tossed into the ropes, though. Dropped down by Lily. Leapfrog. Jennifer gets caught. Arm drag. Cartwheel. Drop kick. Look at Lily Knight go. Jennifer now slowly getting back up to her feet. Lily. Oh, turns her over. I think we know what she's going for. Grabs the arms. And just drills her head right into the mat. That might be it right there. Good night, Jennifer Warren. A two count and a, no, not a three count yet. Jennifer still has life. Lily thought that was it too. I think we all thought that was it. What a stomp right into the ground. Looking for a kick. And Jennifer able to avoid it. Yuranagi into the cover. What a... Reversal right there. Way to, way to get back into the match. But Lily gets the shoulder up this time. With these women throwing everything they have. And now Jennifer is the one slamming Lily's head onto the mat. And now again, just continuously slamming her head. Lily now gets picked up. Grab by the arm. Neck breaker by Jennifer. Jennifer now. Backing into the corner. What is she going to do here? Oh, she's calling Lily up. Lily slowly getting back to her feet. This is not looking good for Lily. It's turned around. Oh, on the shoulders. And a, oh, back breaker, rack attack. This is the opening that Jennifer needs. She needs to waste no time. She needs to put Lily away right now in a flat liner. Right in the center of the ring. That might be curtains right here. No, Lily again gets the shoulder up at two and a half. What is it going to take? Lily is not going away. Jennifer trying to figure out what she has to do here. She's going up top. She's, she's pulling something that she usually doesn't pull out in these matches. Looking for, oh, Meteora lands right on the knees. Lily moves out the way. Going to toss Jennifer into the corner, big clothesline. Lily now with a stump right to the gut. This is the opening that Lily needs to put away this match. She just has to find the right keys to do it. And that tosses Jennifer into the corner again. Body press. Lily now onto the apron. Looking for the neck breaker. She got it. Oh, but Lily's not done. She knows she has to do more than that to put Jennifer away. She's got her locked in. Turns her around. Another neck breaker. The second one. Good night. One, two, and a three. Lily Knight has qualified for the Women's Sky High match. Here is your winner in qualifying for the Women's Sky High match, Lily Knight. What a matchup between these two women and Lily Knight able to pull out the win here tonight. She's the first woman to qualify for the Women's Sky High match.
The following contest is a men's sky high match qualifier. Introducing first, David Esquivel. The return of David Esquivel, the former five-star champion, the man who never lost a gold. He's coming back. He wants that gold back, but he has to find a way to get back what he wants. And this match right here might be the way. It's a sky-high qualifying match just made official earlier today. It was supposed to be a returning match. We heard from management today earlier that we are going to make this a sky-high qualifying match. And David has no idea who his opponent is. None of us do. But David has come back to IDZW, and he has made it very clear that he wants Cameron Witt's championship, the five-star title. David never lost the championship. David has to go through whoever his opponent is tonight to really prove that he deserves another shot at the five-star championship. Cameron has made it very clear that he will take on any challengers, and he said David is no different. David defended against Cameron in one of his five-star championship defenses. David did walk out victorious due to some cheating tactics and And introducing his opponent, the Apex Assassin, Carter Gage. This is a big debut and opportunity for this man, Carter Gage. This man is about to fight a former five-star champion. And this is his debut match. Imagine what would happen if Carter were to pull out the win tonight and he would qualify for the Sky High match. Carter has it all in his hands if he can just get the job done tonight. But David is a formidable opponent. It's not going to be easy at all. I could see this match going either way. I've heard a lot of great things about Carter Gage, and this is his proving grounds about to happen here tonight. He has the shot to prove himself. Now it's just time to see if he can use it to his advantage. Carter Gage coming up next. Sky High match qualifier. Who's the second man to qualify? We're about to find out. Carter Gage, David Escobar, one on one. And here we go. This is also David's return. This is a return and a debut all in one match. This is huge for both men. Either way. And look at Carter striking first. But David, oh, just a poke to the eye. See, David hasn't changed much as he tosses Carter into the corner. Big elbow, snapmare, up to the middle rope. And a big elbow right to the back of Carter Gage. Now David just dropping the knee on Carter. And just raking the back. My God. Yeah, David Escobar hasn't changed one bit in a Saito suplex. Now just stomping on the head of Carter. David taking control in this match. Carter's got to find a way to get back into this big block. And now kick to the gut. And now look at these overhand chops. Look at that kick. What a kick right there from Carter. Kick to the gut. And a kick to the midsection of David. Carter getting back into this matchup. Now he's got David onto the ropes. What is he looking for here? What is this? Oh, and he just kicked him right in the midsection. Oh, right in the knee, right to the side of the head of David. Now Carter is the one telling David to get back to his feet. Kick to the side, ahead, another kick. David slowly getting back up. I don't know if this is pumping up David or if it's making him mad. But Carter might be trying to do that. And like he strikes big ends of Gurry by David. Look at that back and forth. But David was able to win the exchange. And now I got a hold of the arm, twisted it around. Oh, my God. Working the arms. Carter slowly crawling into the corner. Big kick to the gut. Oh, and oh, and just, what a slap by David. 
David is playing no games in this matchup as he picks Carter back to his feet. Puts him on the ropes. Now it drops him down. Oh my god. He's dropping him right into the ropes. Slingshot him neck first. And now David maybe looking to put the nail in the coffin. Air raid crash. What an air raid bomb right there. Gonna go for the cover, but a two count is all he can get. You gotta do more than that. David now picking Carter back to his feet on the ropes. Rolls through. Big drop kick by David. David now again just stomping on the face of Carter. And that kick to the back. Looks like it might be pumping Carter up. Blocking the punch, but didn't block that one. Got caught, caught the knee. Look at that punch right there from David. As now David tosses Carter into the... Oh, my God. What a tilt-to-whirl slam right there from David. David again picks up Carson. And a, oh, my God. An eye poke again. As David now grabs Carter. He's got him. Throws him right into the corner. And I, oh, man, I think Carter might be leaking as he gets turned around. And a double axe handle right to the back. David now bringing Carter up. Super kick right to the head in the corner. David has just been taking over this match. Carter has got to find some way to get back into this. David's ego just playing into a factor. Just playing with Carter at this point. Oh, but Carter, the kick to the gut. Oh, wait a minute. He's got him up. Tombstone position. Lum blower. Carter into the cover. One count. Two count. No, David gets the shoulder up. That might have been the edge that Carter needed. What a big move to pull out at this point in the match. Carter now. Oh, what a foot stomp in the corner. Carter's got to keep moving. Carter going up top rope. David's in the drop zone. Beautiful splash right there from Carter Gage into the cover. One count, two count. No, David again gets the shoulder up at two and a half. Carter's got to keep the foot on the gas pedal to keep David down. If he wins this match, could be in big news. What an uppercut right there from Carter. Carter now picks up David. Now he's got him on a hold onto the ropes. What are you looking to do here? Off the ropes. Only oh, the outside. What a move right there. Snapped right onto the ropes. Now Carter letting the crowd hear it. He goes up to the apron. Going to get back into the ring, though. Picks up David back to his feet. Now got a hold of an uppercut to the back of the head. And Carter is taking over this match now. Kick to the side. He's got the arms trapped. Oh, God. Oh, and just slams David's head right into the mat. And oh, no. He might be looking to do it again. Turns him over. He's got him. His hands grabbed again and stomps his head into the mat. What vicious strikes right there. And now he's going to go for the cover. That might be it. David's not even moving since he got stomped into the ground. But just instincts kicking out at two and a half. David now getting picked back up by Carter. Carter with these strikes. David able to, able to throw him over with a hip toss. As Carter gets picked up. David now... Uh-oh, looking for tequila shot. David now into the cover. One count and a two and a... No! Carter again gets the shoulder up. What is it going to take to put these guys away? These men want to qualify. It's a return and a debut. It's big moments for both of them. Both of them want the win. And David gets sent to the outside. Carter now... Calling David up. He's calling him up. What is he looking to do here? Cutter now onto the apron. Uh-oh. Looking for... Oh, a cutter on the outside. David might be out of it. Carter picks him up. And he's going to toss him back into the ring. This might be the opportunity for Carter to put this matchup away. And a frog splash. What a move right there. Carter picks David back up to his feet. Big punch, another strike, big forearm, kick to the gut. Carter now picks him up, back breaker, throws him over, big boot. 
Look at Carter Gage go. He is taking over this matchup. Carter now picks David back up to his feet. Looking for a strike. David caught him. What a punch to the midsection. And look at these strikes. It's back and forth from these two. What a match this has been. David with another strike. And look at these strikes again from David. David now crosses Carter into the ropes. Oh, and both men just colliding with each other. Looking for a show. Oh, clothesline to the outside. My God. Oh, now David is the one telling Carter to get up. And now off the ropes, David with a plancha to the outside. My God, what a matchup this has been so far. As David picks up Carter. He's got a hold of him. And a slam him right onto the apron. This is what David does. He uses anything he can to go oh, get an advantage in a match. And slamming his head right in the announce table. David now picks Carter back up again. Oh, God, what is he doing? Throwing him back into the ring. I think he was looking to hit Carter on that ring post, but Carter was able to momentarily avoid it, and that might have been a good thing. As David now tosses Carter into the, uh-oh, the forearms. I think David's going for that moonsault. No, he missed it. Wait, no, he hit it. Carter... Into the cover, two count. Oh, just barely getting his shoulder up as Carter. David thought he had it right there. What a move right there. David missed the first moonsault, but was able to connect with the second. It's a good way to overcome. And oh my God, an elbow from in the corner. Carter now. Oh, just drills David into the mat. David gonna roll to the outside. Carter now. Going to roll to the outside as well. This matchup has been incredible. A debut and a return. Both these men trying to prove themselves. Trying to prove their worth. It's a sky-high qualifying match. It just adds extra luster behind it. And now again, just drilling him into the canvas. And I think David might be leaking now. As now Carter just kicks him in the chest. Oh, now Carter. He might be looking to end it. He might be looking for that cutter. And he got it. That might be it right there. Carter into the cover on David. One count. Two count. Oh, David just barely getting his shoulder up before a three count. I thought that was it. Finishing move by Carter was not enough to put him away. He might have to go for it again. David just has too much fight in him to go away like that. Uh oh, slip through. David, roll up. I think Carter's hands are under the ropes. Two count and a three count, and David steals it. David Escobar steals the win yet again. What a matchup. It ends in a roll-up by David. I told you, David would pull any tactic to walk out with the win. What a matchup. Neither man has anything to be ashamed of. Carter showing that he is a future star here. That's for sure. So everyone wants to know why the big three is out here tonight, huh? All right. Tonight, we will give you the reason. You know, ever since we signed our contracts and the big three was born here in, in the zone wrestling, people have been hitting us up, asking us questions, wanting to know our business. And tonight, we will give you the reason why we are out here tonight. See, it's no secret what we're here for, world domination, but it's also no secret of the specific person that I'm looking forward to seeing around here real soon. And not going to lie, not going to lie, I saw the state of the women's division, we saw the state of the women's division, and I, the first reaction was we were just disgusted, like really, really disgusted. And you know what? <laughs> It almost second guessed our decision here in In the Zone Wrestling at first. That's right. And heavy on disgust because there should be no real reason why there's so many women in this division and yet such lack of talent. And do you guys want to know what the real problem is? The problem is that you girls do too little. <laughs> and while us, well, we do just enough.
But with the big three now officially being a part of In The Zone Wrestling, <laughs> all you ladies now had to do too much just to even get a peek of what being on the top looks like. And enjoy that peek while you can. <laughs> because it's just a matter of time until we defeat every woman in the locker room and create history after history after history. <laughs> ladies, ladies, let's not give away all of our plans just yet. You see, the big three is more than just a name. The big three is a warning. A warning to everyone that we are inevitable. We are women's wrestling. And there is not a goddamn woman in any locker room in this industry that can lace up our boots, talk the talk, and carry on with the press like it's another regular day. Like I've said before, I'm sure you women are stars. But we are superstars. And the sooner you all realize that, the better off you'll be. So I hope you all are having the times of your life right now because you don't have much time left. Exactly. But you know what? You know what? I feel like these people are not listening to what we got to say. I feel like these people are zoned out into another atmosphere. I feel like they don't have our attention. So tonight, we're going to give y'all a big three showcase understanding of what we mean of complete domination. So stay tuned. The following contest is a men's sky high qualifying match. Introducing first, Robin Peace. We have another veteran versus veteran matchup. Robin Heese and Jose Carter. This is our third men's sky high qualifying match of the night. Al Walker. David Escobar have both qualified so far. We are going to find out who will be the third one tonight. We still have a fourth one coming to you all later tonight. But right now, Robin Heath and Jose Carter about to go one-on-one -on -one to find out who's going to qualify for the sky-high qualifying match. Robin Heath seems pumped up. We haven't seen Robin Heath around for a little while. But he's back and he is ready to show why he is worthy being in the top spot in ITZW. But this man who has been taking over oh, wrestling business one. in a way. Oh, yeah. And introducing his opponent, he is the one. Jose Carter. This man is the current UCW world champion. He is looking to get even more gold here in IDCW. But he's got to qualify for this briefcase match if he even wants a chance at that. But he's got a huge opponent in Robin Feast tonight. It's not going to be easy for either man. But they both won it. And when you put two hungry competitors like these two in a match together you can only decide what happens next. Jose walking up to the ring, he seems pumped up, Robin he seems pumped up. I think we're in the mix for a classic here on episode 6. Join Al Walker and David Escobar in the Sky High match. We have this one right now, Jose Carter and Robin Heath. And we have later Jay Montrez and Sean Knight. We're going to have four people already declared for this match tonight.
Robin Heath looks ready. It's just two veterans going at it. We're about to see a war right in front of us. Sky high match qualifier. Bell rings and we're off. A little lock up now. Center of the rain. Jose Carter definitely has the size advantage in this match. Big punch and a kick. Overhead chop. Gets blocked though. Hip tossed by Robin Heath. Robin now picking Jose back up to his feet. Big kick. Look at these punches now. Robin now tosses Jose into the corner. And now a bulldog, center of the ring. Robin Heath now, big spin kick. What a spin kick right there from Robin. And a kick to the gut. And now a kick to the chest. Robin now gets kicked right in the head, though, by jo Jose Carter. Jose now, look at this combination. Kick to the gut and a Meteora. What a move right there by Jose. Robin slowly getting back to his feet. Jose back up as well. Robin able to avoid that forearm shot by Jose. And now Robin backslide roll up. One count. No, Jose gets the shoulder up at one. Too early to go for a recover there. Robin now with a slap and another slap. Look at these strikes. Jose caught him, needed a midsection. Looking for a forearm. Robin had it scouted, went for a kick. Jose able to duck it. Big elbow though from Robin. This is a back and forth match looking for a big boot. But Jose moved out the way, duck under. Now an Irish whip into the ropes, drop down. And a sling blade. What a sling blade by Jose Carter. And Jose Carter is pumped up. Robin, he's slowly getting back up to his feet in the corner. And a big uppercut, elbow, tosses him into the corner again. The tiger faint kick. The athleticism being shown by Jose Carter and looking for a clothesline. But Robin Heath moves out the way. Oh, big clothesline turning Jose inside out as Robin going up top. Body press from off the top rope. Robin Heath is on fire. Both men are on fire in this match and a kick to the midsection. Another one. Robin and Jose. It's a very back and forth matchup so far as I thought it would be when two veterans... Go together in the same match and a big arm drag by Robin. Look at the strength. Robin now picking Jose back up to his feet. Now I'm going to toss him into the corner. My God. Absolutely slammed him into the corner. Jose falls down to his feet. It's like he just gave out right there. And look at his exploder suplex. Look at the power of Robin. He's on display. Jose wisely rolling to the apron though. Able to avoid possibly a pin attempt by Robin and Jose. Able to get back into the ring. Look at these kicks now from Robin. Trying to weaken Jose, but Jose able to catch him. Look at these forearm shots. Another one. Big elbow off the rope. Clothesline by Jose. Jose now picks Robin back up to his feet. Big slap. Chopped in the midsection. Overhead chop. And now turns him around. German suplex turns him inside out. Jose now. Look at the power. Look at the strength. Power bomb spikes him. Right by the ropes, though. But it's not enough to get a rope break, but Robin able to get the shoulder up at a two. These two men are really showing out right now. As Jose picks Robin back up to his feet. Going to toss him into the ropes. And another sling blade spikes him. Now Robin getting picked up by Jose. Jose to the middle rope. Looking for, oh, wait a minute. Beautiful, oh, Tornado DDT. I never thought I'd see Jose pull that one out. Showing off his athleticism yet again. Robin trying to get back up. Big elbow, another one in the corner. Oh, and slams him into the corner again. Tiger faint kick. Jose Carter is going off right now. And now he's going to go up top. Jose Carter, he's got him lined up. Big kick, but Robin able to move out the way. Oh, what a side kick to the head. Robin now picks Jose up. He's got to find a way to get back into this matchup. And now picks up. Oh, kick to the gut. Look at the strength. And a pedigree. Oh, my God. He turned him inside out. One, two. Oh, and Jose gets the rope break. There's great ring awareness from Jose right there. Able to see the ropes, and he grabbed the hold of it. Oh, but Robin rolls him through into the guillotine. Guillotine center of the rain. There's no rope for Jose to grab onto this time. He's got to either escape it or he's going to pass out. Oh, and Robin's got it locked in good. Jose might be out right here. Jose might be out. 
Oh, but Jose with the clubbing blows to the back, and it's going to weaken the hold, and he's able to throw Robin off. Oh, what a spear by Jose Carter out of nowhere into the cover. One, two. No, Robin gets the shoulder up at two and a half. My God, what a matchup so far. That was a spear out of nowhere. It's Jose picking Robin back up, looking for a forearm, got caught again with a roundhouse kick. Now a knee drop to the back by Robin. Now a kick to the back of the head. A knee again right to the back. Robin just stomping all over. Jose trying to weaken the body. Weaken any limb that he can. Now stomping on the back. And I think Jose might be leaking after that one. And again just dropping the knee. Robin now picking Jose back up. Somebody's got to pull a big move to put this matchup away. Robin now putting Jose on the ropes. He's got him up. Oh, and just launches him into the ropes. And Jose again wisely going to roll to the apron. Able to avoid perhaps a pinfall from Robin. Oh, what Robin. Forearm to the... What the hell? Oh, my God. He spiked him on the apron with that DDT. What a move right there. Is Robin, he's going to toss Jose back into the ring. Rolls back in as well. This might be it right here. And another guillotine. Another guillotine. Oh, but Jose's legs were on the ropes. Robin was not able to put him away with that one. And now a kick to the gut. Oh, God. What is he? Oh, another pedigree. By Robin Heath. But I don't think Robin. Oh, Robin might be. He might be going for the cover here. And another rope break from Jose Carter. Jose with two rope breaks able to get out of those pedigrees by Robin Heese. And a big boot by Robin. I think Jose, if those ropes weren't there, he might have been out of it right there. A big punch again from, oh, super kick out of nowhere. Jose's got to crawl into the cover. He's got to crawl for it. He's got to get there quickly, and he falls into the cover. That might be it right there. One count, two count. No, Robin again gets the shoulder up at two and a half. Jose's in shock. Robin going to crawl to the corner, trying to get back up to his feet. Jose's calling him up. Big knee strike in the corner, looking for the bulldog combination, and he got it. Jose with a kick to the midsection. Picks Robin up to his feet, looking for the forearm. Oh, and another roundhouse kick by Robin. Robin now out to the apron. Looking for... Oh, what a body splash. I, don't, I think that might have caused damage to both men. Robin got all of it, but he landed hard on the mat after that cross body. Robin able to get back to his feet first. He's got Jose up. He's going to toss him into the corner. Big knee strike. And then now a clothesline combination. What is Robin looking to do here? He's got to put this matchup away. Oh, Robin. He's got another guillotine locked in. This is the third one of this match. And that, this might be ball game. This might be ball game. Oh, but Jose, able to get out of it again, pushes him away. Into an S-O-B. Out of nowhere. One, two, and a three. What a match. Jose Carter with that SOB out of nowhere was able to put the matchup away. These two really showed out. And Jose Carter qualifies for the sky high match, but Robin Heath, Brendan, what a hell of a fight in this matchup. Jose Carter, though, was just the better man tonight. He is going to be the third man to qualify in the sky high.
Unfortunately, my big title win and celebration was ruined by the weird-ass big backs. Now tell me why they looked like the wrong reunion of Destiny's Child. You know what? I'll give them that they looked cohesive. But they definitely didn't look up to par to take me off my throne. They don't scare me at all. If they ever even try to make a move on me, I'll very easily send them back to catering. I heard that there was Amaya's favorite pizza backstage tonight, too. Sucks that she can't be here to eat some. I could really try to go on about Razor Wayne's career, but unfortunately, there isn't much to talk about except the gunshots in your entrance. And then there's Adrienne. I'm going to sum it up in five simple and easy words everyone here can comprehend. Who the fuck is that? But enough about the self-proclaimed big three because they are too scared to come face to face with me when I'm at 100%, I'll cutely and demurely move on to my next challenger. I'll be finding who it is at the same time as you worthless idiots in attendance here. Next episode, I'll be watching from the back to see who wins a fatal four-way match to face me and lose like all the other boobs for brains that walked down that ramp to face me. Well, a strong message from the women's world champion, Dixon Odelia, onto the big three, but it is time for the prestige to celebrate that tag team championship win at ground zero. We're going to see what they have to say here tonight. The boys are hyped and did the big thing at ground zero and walked out as IBCW World Tag Team Champions William Penny and Isaiah Irving. These two earned it. Fatal four way tag team match. They were able to secure the win. They got to find out who the next challengers will be. But I'm about to find out what they have to say tonight. In the zone wrestling, it is your world tag team champions, the prestige. And we are here after being victorious, beating DXGs, the Bastards, and De Niro Inc. Those trash cans got dealt with and got put down by the best tag team in the industry. But here's the sad part is that we're out of competition truly here. And there is no man that would want to step up to the best tag team in In The Zone Wrestling. So we decide to propose another proposition. We will be holding yet another World Tag Team Championship tournament. Because once again, another company, no challenges. Next episode will be leading up to the finals. And then the episode after will be the finals. And then the winner of the tournament will face us at Sky High for the World Tag Team Championships. And is there really a point? I don't see a point in doing this tournament thing again. Last time we held the tournament, they ran through the tournament and we squashed them. There is absolutely no point in doing this. So, Project Ego, Dog Pound, Bloody Legends, and the Bastards. Whichever team comes out on top, the Prestige cannot wait to put you down at sky high. Now, me and Willem, we're gonna we're gonna head to the back. We're gonna pop a few bottles, pop a few pills, and have a great celebration for the rest of the night. And we'll see you all sometime soon. Cause this is not enough And I won't wait for them to cut me up So give me all you got We'll never stop until they see it fall So let's run away Cause everything's broken away So much more than another brick in the grave So give in your every Give me your everything and Scheduled for one fall, 
It is a men's sky high qualifying match. Introducing first, the finesse king, Jay Montrez. Well, here we go. This is our fourth men's qualifying match tonight. Jay Montrez looking to qualify. This is two underrated stars competing in this matchup. Jay Montrez has been overlooked for a few months now. I think he has a big star potential here and in the zone. I think all it takes is one moment and you can break out. Sean Knight is another man that I think has been overlooked, and I think tonight he can definitely prove that he has what it takes to hang with the best of the best. They're two rookie. Oh my God. These are two rookies in the game, and I think tonight that they're both going to try to show out and show everybody else in the back and everybody else watching that they have what it takes. It's a proving ground for both of them tonight. With a win, like tonight, qualifying for a sky high match, and you already have a star studded dude like Jose Carter, Al Walker, and David Escobar. And one of these two men are gonna join them. This matchup is gonna be stacked. We have a chance to have a rookie in there. And who knows? Maybe one of these two men, whoever qualifies between them, could steal it all and become briefcase and really make a name for themselves. We have to see. We have to see who wins the matchup first. And here we go. Sean Knight, Jay Montrez, bell rings. Sean Knight's going to run in with a big lariat. Jay Montrez, he's rocked. He's getting back up to his feet. Look at these chops from Sean Knight. And a big push to the gut. But Jay caught the forearm. Big chops now. Big punch. Got caught. Headbutt by Sean Knight. Oh, went for the knee strike. Big boot by Jay Montrez. Shooting star press. Jay now picking Sean back up to his feet. Super kick. What a super kick right there from Jay. And another shooting star press. Going to go for the cover. One. Oh, almost got a two count right there. But Sean gets the shoulder up right before the two. Jay now kicking away. Sean back to his feet. Bicycle knee strike. Oh, but Sean taunting to the crowd. Doesn't notice Jay's back up. Oh, but he caught with a super kick anyways. Sean now picking Jay back up to his feet. I think Jay was still rocked. Rolling forearm. No caught. Oh, rolling forearm of his own. Jay Montrez. Giving him a taste of his own medicine. Looking for the German suplex now. Deadlifting him up. Look at his strength. Takes a lot of strength to just deadlift a human like that off the ground. Now Jay picking him up. And now he's going to toss him into the corner. Both these men looking to prove a lot here tonight. Jay now from the corner, knee into the corner, my God. And Jay now, another knee into the corner, seated position this time. Look at Jay Masters going crazy. And a, my God, a corkscrew moonsault from Jay Montrez. I did not think he would be able to pull that out. Shaw Knight again kicking out at two. Flurry of offense from Jay into a shooting star press again. Jay now picking Sean back up to his feet. Gonna toss him into the ropes. Drop down. And now a spine buster into the cover. One count. Two count. But Sean again gets the shoulder up at two. Jay now going up to the middle rope. Sean slowly back up to his feet. Looking for a neck breaker, but Sean moved out the way. Oh, now punch to the midsection. And now a power slam from behind. Look at the power. And now it turns around. Beautiful moonsault. Sean Knight now delivering a flurry of offense to Jay and a big lariat. But Jay's going to roll to the outside. Smart move. Sean Knight off the ropes. 
Beautiful Tope Khan Hilo to the outside. Both men slowly back up to their feet. Jay slowly getting back up. Sean already back up. Caught him with another bicycle knee strike. All right, out of two count. Sean out. Oh, caught Jay with a moonsault. Sean's got it. They got to get back in the rain. We got a four count. It's Jay gets tossed back in. Sean now going up to the apron. What is he looking to do here? I think he's calling Jay over. Jay looking for a punch, but Sean able to avoid it. Sean with a punch of his own. Oh, he caught him. Oh, and drops him onto the ropes. Sean back in. It was a good move right there by Sean. Is Sean going up top now? What is he looking to do here? Moon salt from off the top rope into the cover. One, two. No, Jay again gets the shoulder up at two and a half. These two are throwing out everything they have. It's been Jay for. Jay was taken over the beginning of this match, but now Sean seems to be taken over with a big power bomb displaying that strength. You can tell Jay has the size advantage in this. Oh, bicycle knee strike again. That is the third one of this match. Shaw now picks him up. Deadlift. Oh, what a German suplex into the corner. And look at the power of Sean. Garage power bomb into the cover. One, two. No, oh, Jay gets the shoulder up at two and a half. So close. But no cigar. Dropped a knee, but Jay was able to move out the way. Oh, he caught him. He caught him. Big knee right to the head. Jay into the cover. That might be it. That was out of nowhere. Two count. No. Sean gets the shoulder up at two and a half. Jay now into the corner. Looking to put away Sean as he calls him up. Pointing the guns. That might be the end. Uh-oh. Right to the throat. And a beautiful cutter from Jay Montrez. And that might be the nail in the coffin. Two. Oh, Sean gets the shoulder up just barely. Sean still has life. He does not want to go out that easily as Jay now going up top. In the second rope, looking for the neck. Oh, he caught him. What a cutter. Jay now going up top. What is he looking for? Six, oh, 630 missed. Sean moved out the way. Oh, another bicycle knee strike. Sean now. He's calling up Jay. He's got the opportunity to finish this match. He's got to do it. And now, oh, he got him. Spiked the middle of the ring with the flat liner. That might be it right there. One, two. Oh, Jay gets, oh, my God. These two with these close pinfalls. Jay gets the shoulder up at two. Sean now, he's up top. I don't know if he's going to reach from there. Swanton, but Jay moved out the way. Sean back up to his feet. Jay both up, back up to their feet. Chop. Another chop. Missed, though. Sean caught him. Chop from Jay. Chop to the back. A chop blocked by Sean. Look at these chop back and forth action. What a matchup we've seen between these two. Drop down. Leapfrog. And a snap dragon suplex. And Sean now, he's got the Reigns of Saturn locked in. Reigns of Saturn are locked in. That might be it right here. Oh, but Jay got his foot on the rope. The ref called it and saw it. That was a good spot right there by the referee. Sean now calling up Jay. Yeah, that Reigns of Saturn was locked in. As he picks up onto his shoulders. Get the strength and just tosses him into the ropes. What is it going to take? For one of these men to give in and another moonsault by Sean Knight. Sean now picks Jay back up to his feet. Big chop blocked by Jay. Oh my God, what a kick out of nowhere. Jay now going into the corner. Going to go up top. Corkscrew moonsault from off the top. One, two. Oh, again. Just barely getting the shoulder up. How is this? How are these two still kicking out? 2.99 if I ever saw it. But Sean, he blocked the... Th I think he blocked the finishing move of Jay right there. 
And now Sean, he's got him up top. Oh, what a punch to the side of the head. You can see the blood pouring from Sean Knight. And he's got him up top on his shoulders. Oh, this ain't going to be good. Oh, my God. Avalanche Phantom Driver, two and a three. Sean Knight gets the win. What a matchup. Sean Knight picks up the win, and he's the fourth man to qualify for the men's sky hot match. What a war we just saw right in front of us. Sean Knight was able to come out with the win with that avalanche phantom driver. He had to put it all on the line right there. He's got a big opportunity ahead of him at sky high. Is he going to be able to secure the bag, or is he going to falter? We're going to find out soon in weeks' time. But congratulations to that man on the big win. The following contest is a women's sky high match qualifier. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Jury Nakaru. She is Kari Katsuyori. Both these women making their debut today. They call themselves Toxic Shock. These two are new to the game, but they burst onto the scene as of lately. They're in the inaugural ACW Women's Tag Team Champion match. They were not successful, but tonight they have a chance to get a little bit of success in the Women's Sky High Qualifying Match. The jury's in the corner of Kari. Who knows what could happen in this one? They have a lot to prove tonight. So does their opponent. So it's really going to be a will and who has more. Who wants to be in the sky high match? Who's gonna qualify next? We already saw Lily Knight qualify earlier after beating Jennifer Warren. We're about to see a second qualifier right now. And introducing her opponent, Sammy Scott. Seven Sky, what they call a big underdog in most of these matches. Or she's had some fights with people like Amaya Jackson in the past over in Showcase Studios. She's an underdog in most matches and she's looking to claim her win tonight in a debut match to qualify for a sky high match. This is a debut for both women. It's all on the line for both of them. Only one of them can walk out and qualify. But who has more and who wants it more? Here we go Kyrie. Jury in her corner. Hopefully we don't see any activities in this match. Seven in the other corner. Here we go. Bell rings. We're in the lockup. Seven. Able to get control. Tosses Kyrie into the corner. And a big chop. You can hear that one. Now the double knees to the midsection. Backflip and double knees again. Seven now. Picks up Kyrie. Big snapmare overhead. A beautiful reversal from Kari off the ground in a Hurricane Rana. A kick to the back. Kari now off the ropes. Oh, sent on right to the back of seven. Kari now slowly getting back up to her feet. Deadlift perhaps, but seven. Able to roll through. Rolls through Hurricane Rana right into the corner head first. And a clothesline kip up. Look at this combination by seven to seven. Up to the top rope. Kyrie slowly getting back up to her feet. Seven calls her up. Big drop kick. Missile drop kick off the top rope. Double knees again. Rolls through. Double knees again. Kyrie now off the rope. Moon salt, but Kyrie moved out the way. Seven, nobody home. Nobody know. Oh, what a kick from Kyrie. And now a double stomp right to the midsection. 
Off the ropes. Big kick again to the side of the head. Went for the double stomp. But seven moved out the way. Oh, what a drop kick. Look at the height she got on that one. I think Kyra was trying to throw in the air, but seven was able to pull a beautiful reversal right there with that drop kick as seven tosses. Kyrie into the corner. Drop kick again in the corner. And now, Bulldog. But these women are showing what they have tonight. Big elbow drop. A second elbow. And a third elbow. A little three elbow combination right there. Oh, what an uppercut from Kyrie and a double axe handle dropped. Is Kyrie now going to go up top. Seven's in the drop zone. Turns around. Beautiful moonsault, but seven moved out the way. Rolls through into a roll up. She caught her. One, two. Oh, Kyrie kicks out at two. Seven now picks Kyrie back up to her feet. Kyrie there with a punch right to the midsection. Rolls through, body scissors into the cover. One, two, seven gets the shoulder up at two this time. Kyrie now stalking seven, tossing her into the corner. Runs towards it. Big back elbow in the corner. Tosses her down onto the first rope. Looking for 450, and she got, I don't know if she got all of it, but she got some of it. And she's going to go for the cover here. That might be it. Is that enough? One, Two, but no, seven gets the shoulder up again at two. Kyrie looks a little, she looks a little worried right there after that kick out. Oh, and a kick again, right from out of the air like a ninja. It's Kyrie now, tosses seven into the corner again, trying to keep seven at bay. Look at these kicks in the corner, seven down on the ground now. Kyrie is just taking over in this match and a spin kick right to the side of the head. And now Kyrie just showing off. She thinks this is an easy one. I think she thinks that she's about to put it away right now. She picks up. Oh, what a body slam. And a stomp to the back. And another stomp to the back. Kyrie's telling Seven to bring it. Jerry cheering her on in the outside. Kyrie now gets caught with a strike overhead chop right to the midsection. Seven, big X Factor, center of the ring. One, two, no. Kyrie again gets the shoulder up at two and a half. Seven now picks Kyrie up. These two, they know what's at stake. They're going to keep going. They're telling her to bring it. Look at this combination from Seven Sky. Kyrie's down. Seven now, Dragon Sleeper locked in. Dragon Sleeper is locked in. Is Kyrie going to be able to get out of this? Seven trying to put Kyrie to sleep. But Kyrie with the knees to the head of Seven, and she's forced to let it go. Look at this strike, soul kick. Kick right to the back of the head, and a kick to the back. What a combination of kicks right there by Kyrie. Seven slowly getting into the corner. It's Kyrie now. Drop kick. Oh, what a flip kick into the corner. And a chop. And another flip kick. Oh my god, what a combination from Kyrie Katsuyori. One, two, no, seven again gets the shoulder up before the three. Jerry trying to tell Kyrie to finish this match. Kyrie might have seven dead to rights. Big overhead shot. Seven moved out the way. Big forearm shot. Clothesline. Kip up. Seven now. Got the arm trapped. Looking for a monkey flip right into the corner. Seven now picks Kyrie back up to her feet. Going to slam her into the corner. Big kick to the midsection. Another kick. Oh, backs up. Looking for some momentum. And a kick to the gut. Off the rope. Leg drop on the apron. Seven now. On to the shooting star press. What a beautiful... Move right there by seven. She might have to go for the cover after that. She's going to go up top. She might be looking to end it. Leg drop from off the top rope. Going to go for the cover. What a move right there. That shooting star press into a leg drop. And Kyrie again gets the shoulder up at two and a half. Seven now picking up Kyrie. Big forearm shot. Kyrie blocked it. 
Strike to the midsection. Kyrie now tosses seven into the ropes. Drop down. Leapfrog. And now a snap German suplex into the cover. One, two. No, again, seven gets the shoulder up at a two and a half. Counts keep getting closer and closer. It's going to take one big move, I think, to put this matchup away here. Seven. It's turned around. Big form shot in the corner. Another one. And a third. My God. And a fourth. Just constant shots to the back. Super kick right to the leg. Oh, my. Oh, my God. What a foot stomp. Kyra now going to go up top. This might be the nail in the coffin. Corkscrew moonsault into the cover on seven. One, two. No, seven gets the shore up again. Now you've seen a lot of remarkable kickouts tonight, but I don't think I've seen this many kickouts, especially this close to the three count. It's just instinct, I think, for these guys. They know what's at stake, and they know what it... Oh, the X Factor again, this time in the corner. Seven with that X Factor out of nowhere. The seven now tosses Kyrie into the corner. Oh, she might be looking for it. She has her up. Big punch to the side of the head. Jury watches on. She's staring. Seven's got the Spanish fly, avalanche Spanish fly. What a move. Going for the cover. That's got to be it. Two. And a three, seven sky has qualified for the sky high match. What a move to end it right there. An avalanche Spanish fly. What a matchup and what a win. Seven sky is the second woman to qualify for the sky high women's match. It'll be really nice. And seven sky, we still have to find four. No love, no feelings. I'll choke on the air I'm breathing. I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your new IPW Universal Champion, Nathan Daves. Well, Nathan Daves won that Universal Championship in an incredible fatal four-way on night one of Ground Zero. A matchup against Tommy War, Marty Morton, and Kendrick Montana. Nathan Daves proved to be the better man that night. Now he's out here tell everybody what he thinks of his championship win. I think he's got to talk a little bit more about what happened after the match with Jackson Bates making an appearance. Hope to hear more from both of those men, especially Nathan here tonight, see what he thinks of all that. Well, 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 what do we have here? We have Nathan Davis as the ITZW Universal Champion. Ain't that great? You see, I was in a fatal four-way match at the first night of Brown Zero against Tommy Moore, Marty Morton, and Kenny Montana. So it's kind of obvious who the winner of that match is going to be, right? And with that being said, 
I get the celebration. No one else. That one on that card gets a celebration besides me. And I think it's only valid because when I was about to raise my championship, I was interrupted by a certain somebody, a member of Violent Legacy, Jackson Bates. And I've heard things about Jackson Bates. Not exactly seen a match, I've heard speakings of. But I wasn't expecting him to show up on ground zero, confronting me face to face. But I'm a person that never backs down. So, I guess, whenever we meet Jackson, don't pull any of your punches, because I will gladly knock you out and send you back to the dump of Skeg. And you can tell your teammates that, and you can tell the management over there that as well. So until you meet again. Well, Nathan Daves seems to have fired the next shot at Jackson Bates. Hopefully we'll see more out of Nathan Daves in the next episode. Uh, he deserves that championship. He's going to go out and celebrate, I'm sure of it. We are supposed to hear more from Jackson Bates in the next episode, so we'll see what he has to say about all this. Championship Open Challenge Match. Please welcome the five-star champion, Cameron Witt. Well, Cameron Witt winning the championship in a big fatal five-way at ground zero. He's able to claim the gold like he said he would. He has a lot of people gunning for him though. He decided to host an Open Challenge tonight. Fight anybody that wants to step up Anybody that wants to fight for the five-star championship gold, Cameron Witt, step up, he said. And he said they're going to get put down. So whoever it is tonight that is answering this open challenge by Cam Witt, they better be on their A game because I don't see Cam Witt letting that championship go anytime soon. Cam Witt, he looks fired up and ready to go. Who is going to be the one that accepts the open challenge. We still have our main event to go later tonight. The King's Pass Clash line. Championship on the line. Pass right now, five-star title is on the line. Who is it going to be? I think I've heard this music before. And introducing his opponent, Brandon Kirk. Well, Brandon Kirk is back. And he looks better than ever. The last time we saw this man, he was in the main event of Winter Warzone for the IPZW World Heavyweight Championship. Brandon Kirk now accepting Cameron Witt's open challenge. 
Brandon Kirk was really close that night to becoming a world champion, but Duncan Riley was the one that walked out victorious as world champion. Brandon Kirk tonight has got another shot at gold. It's the form of Cam Witt. These two have history. These two have fought before in the past. These two have had quite the rivalry as well. So this one could be a good one. These two know each other very well. Well, here we go. Five-star championship is on the line. Cameron with the challenger defending against Brandon Kirk in an open challenge. Brandon Kirk was the one that accepted. The size is different. I mean, it's really just height. Brandon Kirk has the height, but Cameron Witt has the size advantage. These two know each other well. So this one's going to be a good one, I can tell. Five-star championship on the line. This is Cameron Witt's first defense with the title. He just won it at ground zero. Let's see if he can hold on to the strap here tonight is Brandon Kirk showing his dominance. Mounting Cameron Witt and just punching away and a stomp to the gut now. Brandon now picks up Cam. Big strike to the... And a kick to the chest. What a headbutt. Brandon Kirk picking up Cam Witt now. Tosses him to the outside. Brandon now stepping over to the outside. Going to pick up Cameron Witt. And now tosses him into the barricade. My God. Brandon showing his dominance early. It's exactly what I said. Brandon Kirk can be a star player if he plays his card right. And he could, oh my God, start by tonight by winning the five-star championship. What a power bomb on the barricade. And now sends Cam again into the barricade with an uppercut. We're at a three count here. Brandon Kirk looking for a strike, but Cam Witt trying to fight back into this fight. Four count. Brandon tossed back into the ring by Cam. Cam rolls back in as well. Look at these strikes. Cameron fighting back. Look at the strength of the German suplex. And Cam now has got a hold of the arm, just kicking away at the face of Brandon Kirk. Uh, from stats, it looks like there's more people that want the five-star championship than any other title right now. There's a lot of people gunning for Cameron Witt right now. Oh, my God, what a close line by Brandon Kirk. And I'm surprised that not multiple people came out to accept this open challenge. Brandon Kirk's lucky tonight. He has a one-on-one -on -one match with Cameron Witt. Brandon just taking him down. Brandon now has got a hold of Cameron. Tosses him into the ropes. Off the ropes. Big close line from Brandon. Brandon again taking over in the match. Oh, my God, just punching at the throat and the chest of Cameron Witt. My God, Brandon Kirk is unhinged in this match. Brandon now powering up Cam onto his shoulder, but Cameron able to escape in a chop block right to the leg. And now a kick to the gut. He's got the arm cradle position. Oh, the beautiful pitfall there, but Cam not able to get a one count. Brandon Kirk able to get out of it. Oh, God, wait a minute. Oh, my God, what a driver by Brandon Kirk. Brandon Kirk's trying to hype the crowd up. Crowd's not having it, though. They're rooting for Cam Witt in this one. Brandon now. Oh, went for the kick, but Cam was able to move out the way. And a regal plex bridged into the cover. One, two, no. Kick out by Brandon Kirk. And a super kick by Cam Witt. Cam Witt getting back into it. He's throwing, he's throwing shots. He's fighting. Cam Witt said he was not going oh, on a Samoan drop. He is not going to go down at easy. Now Cam Witt's the one on top. He's hyped up now. Brandon back up. Big clothesline. Got caught. Big elbow and a forearm shot. Brandon Kirk is limp. He's still up on his feet though. And another forearm Sent into the ropes. Brandon Kirk still on his feet, though. Big kick down to a knee. Look at these kicks now from Cameron Witt. Multiple kicks to the midsection. Just lighten up the chest of Brandon in a big roundhouse kick to the side of the head. And now Cameron, what strength. Showing off that strength, picking up Brandon Kirk. 
and just spikes him down with the military press drop. Cameron now trying to pick up Brandy. He's trying to finish this matchup here. Big shot. Went for the knee. Got caught. Oh, what an uppercut. My God, what an uppercut from Brandon Kirk. Brandon is fired up. That was some strength, pure strength right there from Brandon Kirk. And now he picks up Cam Witt, powerbomb position. Oh, my God, and a lung blower in the center of the ring into the cover. One, two, but Cam gets the shoulder up again. What a fight we are seeing so far. Cameron and Brandon are bringing it all. And Brandon now from the corner with another lariat. My God. And now Brandon just striking away at Cameron and a kick to the gut. Brandon now picks Cam up back to his feet. And a big lariat. Brandon has just been dominating this match. Cameron has had some fight in him. Oh, wait. A little strike back. Brandon with a strike of his own. Cameron with a strike back of his own. We got ourselves a back and forth here. Brandon though caught him. Another strike by Brandon. Cameron though, strike again. Cameron with another strike and a third strike. Brandon with another strike. Look at this back and forth. These two are going at it. Another strike. And another strike by Brandon. These two are just going at it. Cameron and Brandon are going at it. Another strike. And here we go. Oh, they're throwing bombs. They're throwing haymakers. Oh, my God. That was a stalemate. But, oh, another uppercut by Brandon Kirk. My God. Brandon, I think he might be looking to finish it. He might be looking to finish this match here. Uh-oh. Oh, roster cut. Roster cut. That is game, set, match. We might have a new champion right here. No. Cameron just barely gets the shoulder up before the three. Brandon's got to hit another one, I think. But Cameron able to avoid that. Oh, wait a minute. He's got the power bomb. He's got the power bomb. Brandon able to catch himself. Lands on the, the shoulders of Cameron. Looking for a headbutt, but Cam able to avoid it. Needed a gut. Look at these kicks. Look at these kicks again. Kicked him down. Kicks to the chest. Lighten him up. He's continuing to light him up. And now charging it up. Big roundhouse kick to the side of the head. Cameron now is waiting as Brandon Kirk climbs to the corner. Oh my God, what a spinning cross body in the corner. Oh, Cameron looking for the knee. Cameron looking for the knee. And he got, no, wait. Brandon scouted it. He saw it coming. Brandon able to reverse it. That was a big reversal right there for Brandon. I think if Cameron would have hit that knee, it would have been lights out. Oh, God. What is Brandon Kirk looking to do here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. What a powerbomb from off the top. Cameron now turns Brandon over. Another powerbomb into a final flash knee strike. Cameron now going to wisely roll to the apron, though. Get out of precaution. It's a good decision right there from Cam. Cameron with a forearm shot. Rolls through. Neck breaker from off the apron. Cameron Witt showing off that athleticism here. And he might be looking for that knee yet again. Brandon Kirk slowly getting back up to his feet. Super kick again. Brennan got caught. These two are throwing a war at each other. Big knee to the midsection. And now Brandon is throwing these strikes. Big backbreaker. Brennan now picks up Cam up to his feet. Brennan's got a hold of Cam. As he tosses him into the corner head first. Oh, he's got him up. He's got him up top. Oh, and he just shoves him to the outside. My God. Brandon now going to jump off the top. Down to the floor. Brandon now kicked to the gut. Oh, no. He might be looking for that powerbomb again. Maybe on the barricade again. Oh, God. Oh, wait. On the apron. In the Oh, my God. Just slinging him around. 
Big strike though from Cam. Getting back into this. Cameron picks up Brandon onto his shoulders. Oh God, wait. Oh my God. Just slinged him into the ring post and now into the barricade. Cameron using everything he has. As Cam now tosses Brandon into the ring. Cameron gonna roll back in as well. Cameron picks Brandon back up. Discus forearm connects. Oh, Cam looking for the knee. He's looking for that knee again, I think. They needed a midsection. Brandon had that second one scouted. Tosses Cameron into the corner. Oh, no. He's looking for it again. Oh, and he, again, he just shoves Cameron to the outside. My God. This ruthless from Brandon Kirk and a moonsault off the apron. Brandon now picks Cameron up to his feet. Brandon going to toss Cam back into the ring. Brandon going to roll back in as well. He might be looking to end it here. He might be looking to end the matchup. And another uppercut. That's the third one. Brandon's got it. He's got it. This is going to be it right here. Cameron tossed him away. Oh, he's looking for the power bomb, And again, Brandon able to catch himself. The strikes. Oh, wait a minute, Brandon. Roster cut. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Oh my God. What is Adrian Williams doing out here? Middle of the match between Brandon Kirk, Cameron with Adrian. Rolls into the ring. Wait, no. Oh my. And that's going to cause a DQ. Cameron Witt is going to retain the championship. If Brandon Kirk gets the win, Adrian Williams just cost Brandon Kirk the title. What the hell is going on? Adrian Williams just screwed over Brandon Kirk and Cameron Witt. Well, it is time for the face-to-face -face between Heather Ray and Amber Gage. These two went to war back at ground zero for the Blackout Women's Championship. They were the final two in that fatal five-way. Their match itself was highly appreciated, but Heather Ray was the one that walked out as women's champion. Amber Gage, she is not through with Heather Ray. These two are gonna go face to face tonight. We're gonna see what happens here. All I can think after what I saw at Ground Zero, Listen, this could alter into nothing I but to chaos. Something. I, I wanted to let every woman on the roster know I deserve this title more than any of you. I mean, let's be honest. I beat them all fair and square. I walked out holding the Blackout Women's Championship above my head. I had a tough fight against Amber, but we all know she's all hype. She's got no real bite in her. If you don't believe me, watch this replay. Well, as you can see in the Titantron above, this sequence itself between Amber and Heather was one of the best of the night. I can only think if they run it back one-on-one, -on -one, what could really happen? There was just submissions after submissions and pinfalls after pinfalls. Both women were trying to put each other away. Big move after big move. Reversal on top of reversal. And once we got into the later, later stages of this match, there's blood started to pour for both women after those headbutts from Heather Ray. But Amber Gage was showing that she was a fighter. She was not going out without any fight. And even after the headbutts, she still had some fight left in her. There was even some points in this match where I thought it was going to be over. These two are some tough women. This is actually, to this point, the most viewed matchup in In The Zone history right now. Oh, and here you can see the headbutts, the repeating headbutts that Heather Ray delivered to Amber Gage that just busted Amber open, but it also busted open Heather and did equal damage to both women. And Heather just kept on delivering those headbutts. I thought she was going to go all night with these, 
I mean, it just kept on happening over and over again. And I thought that this was honestly going to be the end of the match. But Amber Gage, she just proved to be resilient. And she just kept on fighting after all those headbutts. She even reversed a blood parade after all that. And I thought at this moment that Amber Gage might have had a shot at the win. But Heather Ray was not to be denied in this match. Amber and Heather went more and more longer after this. I, I thought this Dragon Secret was the nail in the coffin. But Amber just proving resilient just would not go away. You can tell how bad both of these women really wanted this championship. And that Meteora right there was the big move that Amber needed. And I thought when she went up to this top rope that it was going to be ball game. But Heather Ray was able to catch her with the blood parade midair and end the match to become the first ever Blackout Women's Champion. See, she looked good being a loser. But that's because she's used to losing. I've beaten phony bitches like her for almost a decade now. If you think she's special, I gotta laugh. I haven't been able to stand her since the moment she stepped foot in this business. I'm glad I was the one who got to take her ass out. Ugh, of course it's this bitch coming. Oh boy, and here comes Amber Gage right now. Crowd is on their feet. They know what's about to happen in front of us. Heather, can you do us all a favor and shut the fuck up? I think I can speak for everyone in this arena when I say we're all bored of seeing you as champion. I mean, come on. It's the same bullshit sob story every time you pick up that mic. It's getting a little tired. And phony? Last time I checked this phony almost tapped you out. I took you to your limit, sweetheart, and I was this close. So I don't know if your brain is all scrambled from all those headbutts you like to do, but let me remind you, I am the standard, the draw, the icon and the blueprint of this women's division. I will always get back up and insert myself right at the top where I belong, so don't get too used to holding that belt, sweetheart. And all hype. Last time I checked my name and championship matches are synonymous. Seems to me like someone is jealous she doesn't have all the buzz anymore. It's kind of sad. But it's okay, Heather. You finally have some real competition. You got lucky. Me and you are not through. Not through? Really? You want to go again after I already embarrassed you once? I'm going to do you a favor and let you know you won't be getting any title match from me anytime soon. You'll thank me later when I prevent you from embarrassing yourself yet again. Your legal team can kiss my ass. Amber, you think you're above everyone here, don't you? You're absolutely nothing. I see through this facade you put on and know you're nothing but an insecure little girl. I'll show you insecure, skank. Now get out of my ring, bitch. Give me that! Let go of my title, you worthless skank. Bitch! Oh, and here we go. Amber Gage throwing rights. I knew a brawl would pop off between these two. Heather Ray now taking control, though. We need to get we need to get security out here. We need help. Oh, and Heather Ray delivering those headbutts. Those headbutts that she did to Amber Gage during the match. And Amber might be out of it. Amber might be out of it right now. Heather Ray taunting to the crowd. But oh, Amber Gage back up with the backstabber. And Amber Gage, she's just laughing at Heather Ray. She gets off the apron. Message has been sent. Amber Gage, you're a dead bitch.
Well, everyone, after an incredible show so far, we are down to our main event of the night. King's Clash Championship is on the line. Justin Carter is going to be challenging the King's Clash Champion, Isaiah Morale. This one is sure to be a good one. This was actually supposed to be the match at Ground Zero that happened, but Justin Carter sustained an injury before the pay-per-view happened, so we were forced to put Jalen Garcia in. But Jalen and Isaiah showed out at Ground Zero, and they put on one of the matches of the night. Justin Carter has had big opportunities on ITZW before. He was in the match to claim the first ITZW Zero Gravity Champion. He also had a rematch at Winter Row Zone for the ITZW Zero Gravity Championship, but he was unsuccessful in both tries. But now tonight, he's got another shot at claiming the championship against Isaiah Morale. This is Isaiah Morale's first defense. And if I know Isaiah Morale any, it's that he will not let that championship go anytime soon. Isaiah said he was going to put the Justin problems away for good. And he's just that this tonight was just another challenger stepping into the den of lions. But I think Justin has a long way to go in this company. And I think that tonight he might have a shot of claiming that Kings Clash champion if he plays his card right. But he's going to be in there with one of the greats of this generation in Isaiah Morale. This is also just a proving ground in Justin Carter. Even if he loses tonight, if he proves himself in this match, that can mean big things for Justin Carter in the future. But it can mean even bigger things if Justin were to somehow overcome the odd and walk out Kings Clash champion tonight. Now, Justin hasn't secured a win yet and in the zone, but he has showed out in every match that he has had. But Justin tonight, this might be the biggest one he's had. He has to be on his A game tonight. Jalen Garcia and all of us right now we want to see that rematch but for right now Isaiah Morale has different problems and it's Justin Carter is the first one. Isaiah is currently undefeated here he's 2-0 right now he's looking to perhaps get that third win here tonight but Justin Carter doesn't have anything to say about it he might walk out as King's Clash champion this is Isaiah Morales' first defense tonight. But I couldn't tell you who the side was, so I parallel double park that motherfucker sideways. Old folks talking about back in my day. But homie, this is my day. This is your main event of the evening. This one is going to be nothing short of great. Dusty Carter, Isaiah Morales, King's Class Championship on the line up next. Well, here we go. Isaiah Morale takes that look at the championship before handing it over to the referee. Referee, going to make sure Justin Carter's okay with things. And we are about to get off. Justin Carter, Isaiah Morale, King's Class Championship. Here we go. There's the championship right there. We are about to be in for a treat. Can Justin Carter get the job done? Or will Isaiah Morale put another victim on the platter tonight? And here we go. Bell rings. We are off. A little lockup here from both Justin and Isaiah. 
Isaiah shrugs him away. Isaiah now has a hold of Justin. Gonna toss him onto the rope over to the apron. Big punch, but Justin was able to catch him with a forearm. Springboard. Beautiful hurricane Rana. Oh my god. Justin already pulling out the big spots in this matchup. It's Justin out of the chop. He slaps by Isaiah Morale. Arm wrench. Slammed him down in the back. Oh, and just a stomp to the arm. Just limb targeting from Isaiah Morale. That's what we have to do, but somebody like Justin. You gotta target the legs. Justin is a high flyer. He's gonna be flying around that ring. But if you take out his legs, he's not gonna be able to do much. Isaiah though, tossing Justin into the corner. Big knee. He's gonna pull him in for a lariat. What a lariat by Isaiah Morale. Isaiah is feeling himself here. Justin Carter. He's got a oh, and as I said, Isaiah's gonna target the legs. Make sure he can prevent any of those high flying moves by Justin Carter. Oh, now he's going to target the arms. Also a smart strategy. Just limb targeting by Isaiah Morale. And this is what he does. Now he's got a hold of Justin. Justin trying to escape with that. Uh oh, Isaiah's got him. Superplex position onto the ropes. Oh, and just kneeing away. Just constant knees and Justin's going to fall to the outside. Just draping knees. So Isaiah's going to roll to the outside as well. Up to the apron now. What is... Oh, my God. What a senton from off the apron. Zay picks Justin up to his feet. Big overhand shot, though, from Justin. And Justin... Oh, my God. Going to chuck Isaiah into the barricade. You have to use anything you, anything you have around you in this type of match. Justin playing a smart move right there and using the ring post, just driving Isaiah's head into the ring post. It's a smart move by Justin as he tosses him into the announce table. And now he's going to slam his head onto the announce table. But he's got to remember, Isaiah can't lose the title to count out. He's got to get him back in the ring. We're at a six count, a seven count. Justin's clearing off the table. We're at an eight count right now. Both men back in the ring. Justin up. Uh oh, Isaiah's up top. I don't think Justin realized until just now. Big meteor from off the top rope. Now Isaiah just stomping away, stomping at the leg. Again with the limb targeting. Stomp to the chest. And now a stomp to the head. Isaiah now picks Justin back up to his feet. Now look at this combination. And a bionic elbow. Justin Carter falls down. Isaiah now picks him back up. Justin's got to find a way to get back into this thing. Isaiah now... Oh my god, what a penalty kick and a meteora. What a combination right there. Isaiah picks Justin back up to his feet. Spinning back fist. Another spinning back fist. A third one. A kick. Chop. Isaiah with this combination and a big clubbing blow. The midsection of Justin Carter. Isaiah now just circling. He's just circling Justin Carter like he's circling his prey. Now again with the limb targeting, just stomping away at the hand of Justin. Justin's got to find a way to get back into this thing. Oh, another spinning back fist. That was the big one right there. And Justin Carter might be knocked out after that one. Oh, wait a minute. Triangle armbar. Triangle armbar locked in by Isaiah Morale. Justin Carter might tap out here. Justin Carter. He's got his hand free. Maybe he can grab the ropes. This will be a rope break. But Justin Carter, able to use his leverage, perhaps to a pinfall, but now he's just punching away, able to escape it. Isaiah Morales forced to let go. Oh, what a shot by Justin. Justin now fighting back. Victory roll into a jackknife cover. One count, two count. No, Isaiah Morales gets the shoulder up at two. Oh, and he caught him with the tornado kick out of nowhere. What a move right there. But Isaiah kicks out at one. Oh, and a big... Clothesline right there from Isaiah Morale. I can't believe Isaiah just kicked out at one after that. Isaiah's pumped up. He's fired up. It might just be an adrenaline rush at this point. Justin able to catch Isaiah with an elbow. Big flash knee strike out of nowhere. And I think Justin's going to go for another knee strike. Bam, it connects. Justin's got to keep on the gas pedal. He's got to keep the offense going. Isaiah slowly getting back up to his feet. Justin now picks up Isaiah. 
And now he's going to toss Isaiah into the corner, looking for perhaps a superplex. Oh, big chop by Justin. Justin now going to climb up top. He's got Isaiah. Beautiful hammer lock. Slam off the top rope. And now Justin's going to go up top. He might be looking for that shooting star press. Oh, no, a foot stomp off the top rope. And he's going to crawl into the cover. That might be it right there. We might have a new champion. Two count. No, Isaiah gets the shoulder up again at two and a half. What a matchup this has been so far. Justin has slowly taken over. It has been all Isaiah in the beginning of this match. But Justin starting to get back into things. Now a springboard. Hurricane Rana. Nobody home. Went for the knee. But Isaiah was nobody home. And a crucifix. Roll up. I don't know what Justin was going for there. But it was not connected. And oh, kick out by Justin. Oh, I think he was just too over jealous when he went for that Hurricane Rana and there was nobody home and he went for that knee. But what a cutter from Isaiah Morales in nowhere. Justin gets the shoulder up just before the three. That was a beautiful cutter, but to no avail. Almost got the win from it, though. Oh, and Isaiah now. Oh, he's taunting Justin. Justin's not going to take any of that. But Justin with a strike got caught. Isaiah now pulls him in. Oh, what is this? Oh, my God, no. Oh, a suplex to the outside. Both men crashing down. As Isaiah slowly gets back to his feet, holding his back. That's a move that will do damage to both of the opponents in this match. Oh, God, wait a minute. Isaiah's got Justin on the table. Isaiah picks Justin up. Big strike back from Justin. Justin with a kick to the gut. Wait a minute. Oh, DDT through the table. Justin Carter, that might be the move. That might be the big deciding move that Justin needed to win this match. Justin's going to throw Isaiah back in the ring. Justin rolls back in as well. Justin picking Isaiah back up. Another tornado kick. That might be it. Justin's not done, though. Justin's going to keep firing shots. This is the moment he needed. Uh oh, he's going for it. Rolling cutter. We might have a new champion. Justin Carter into the cover. Two count. Oh, no. That was the shot that Justin needed. He needs to keep going, though. He needs to deliver that shooting star press. But another foot stomp. Another foot stomp to Isaiah Morale. One count. Two count. No. Isaiah again kicks out before the three. What is it going to take to put Isaiah away? Justin just keeps on firing, but no, to no avail. Isaiah just keeps staying alive in this match. He got caught. Isaiah caught him with the strike. And now, I'm going to throw him into the ropes. Oh, Cutter out of nowhere again. Oh, my God. And now in the corner, Isaiah Morale with the punt kick into the cover. One, two, three, and that is wraps. What a matchup to end the night. And Isaiah Morale retains the championship here tonight. An incredible main event. Here's your winner and still IPCW King Slap Champion, Isaiah Morale. Congratulations to that man on the bigger things tonight. The crowd's getting loud right now. What's going on? The crowd is getting loud. Oh, wait a minute. Jalen Garcia is in the ring, face to face with Isaiah Morale. And I think we all had to expect this. Jalen Garcia is not done with that King's Clash Championship. I think we're ready to see that rematch very soon. Perhaps at Sky High. But thank you all for joining us tonight for In the Zone, Episode 6. We'll see you guys in Episode 7 in a week's time. Thank you all for joining us tonight in this special episode. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, waking up, feeling like the thing for one. Count up my ones, lacing up my favorite ones. One of a kind, one of one, the only one. Got one shot and one chance to take it once. my mama on the forehead before I get the cold red. Cause I was born bred to go in. Toast ready, swing by Fote. Beef patty, cornbread. In the concrete jungle with my home is All get focused, all rage with toasts. But nickname Mr. Canaan do the most is I was living down bad